we're told each big square below represents one whole, express the shaded area as both a mixed number and a decimal. So pause this video and see if you can do that. What would this be as a mixed number and then what would it be as a decimal? All right, now let's do it together. So let's first start with the mixed number. So we see that we have one hole here. The whole thing is filled out. So this is going to be one hole. And then over here we have part of this second hole filled out. And it looks like we are dividing this hole into 10 equal sections. And then two of those are filled out. So as a mixed number, we have one, and then you have two of the tenths filled out. So this is going to be one, and two tenths, and we're done. You can see here, this is split into tenths, and we filled in two of them. Now what about as a decimal? Well, we could just express one and two tenths as a decimal. We could say, hey, that's going to be one, and then we get to the tenths place, and then how many tenths do we have? We have two of them. So that's going to be 1.2. Let's do another example. So here, this is a little bit more involved, they say, once again, each big square below represents one whole. And once again, they want us to express the shaded area as both a fraction and a decimal. So pause this video and have a go at this. All right, so let's start with a fraction again. So we have one whole, two holes, and then partially shaded in this third hole. So if I'm gonna express this as a fraction, really it's going to be a mixed number, I would say that this over here, this is two holes. Now this third hole is only partially filled in, and we can see that it has been divided into hundredths. You can see it's a 10 by 10 grid, so each of these squares represent one hundredth of a whole. And how many of these hundredths are filled in? Well, you, let's see, you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and then you have 70, 1, 2, 3, 4. We can see that 74 of the hundredths are filled in. So as a mixed number, this whole thing would represent 2 and 74 hundredths. Now if we want to write it as a decimal, we would have two holes. And then we could go to the tenths place. You could just write two and 74 hundredths like that if you're pretty familiar with it. You could also think about it in terms of how many tenths and how many hundredths do you have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tenths. And then we have four more hundredths beyond that. So you could think of it as 74 hundredths or seven tenths and four hundredths. But either way, we are done.